Hello everyone and welcome to my Premier League and Championship Roundup video. Um, a lot of stuff to talk about today. Um, quite quite interesting stuff as well. If you want to watch my uh, West Ham Huddersfield post-match um, reaction video, go, go out and please go to the channel and check it out. Because uh, I obviously won't be going into too much detail about that much. Um, okay, so starting off with Friday night, Friday the 8th of September, uh, there was only one game in the championship and that was Derby at home to Hull. Now, I genuinely didn't see a lot of the football over the weekend, so I, especially the championship stuff. Um, so the, my, these, are my these are my genuine reactions. Um, did watch a few things on the weekend, but We'll find it. We'll talk about that later. But as I say, yeah, Derby versus Hull. Derby walloped Hull five nil. Um, couldn't believe it. Actually, absolutely could not believe that at all. Just literally, just just flicked it on before I turned the camera on. Uh, that's inc it's incredible. It's I, it just sh I don't know if that just shows how good Derby are or how crap Hull were playing. Um, I mean, they've not. I mean, Hull haven't been doing too badly. In, you know, it's just I don't know. It's maybe it's just maybe it's just one of those things. Okay, so moving to Saturday, the uh, if I remember correctly, the early kickoff. I think it was the Man City. Yeah, Ma early kickoff. Man City Liverpool. Now I did watch some of this. Did watch some of this. Um, <clears throat> uh, Mane, which already talked about in the video. In my um, weekly musings video, if you want to call it musings, my you know my my uh, weekly thoughts, musings, whatever. Um, so I won't go into too much detail on that. But as I say, uh, Manchester uh, Man, Man City beat Liverpool five nil. Um, Oxlade Chamberlain came in uh, in on at half time for his debut, and uh, not the best of times to do so. Um, but I can understand why. And that moves that links us swiftly on to the first of Saturday lunch uh, Saturday three o'clock kickoffs, which was Arsenal versus Bournemouth. Now, Arsenal beat Bournemouth three 0 so I still think the implosion is going to continue. <laughs> um, Brighton beat uh, West Brom at home three <clears throat> one. Spurs beat Everton away three <laughs> 0 Leicester um, played Chelsea at home and it was a bit of a nervy one because it was one all for quite a while. There's a you know it's a decent penalty from, from, from Vardy if I remember correctly. Let me just double check that, but I'm sure that was of a that was a penalty. Uh yep, sixty two minutes. And Morata at the forty first minute and then Vardy at sixty two minutes. Um but that was before Kante made it two nil. So yeah, my memory of that game's a little bit hazy. Because I was getting a piece of shit camcorder being delivered, which, by the way, is available for your purchase on eBay. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, um, let's let's move on. Bum, 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 okay, yeah. So Southampton were at home to Watford, and Watford beat them two 0 And the evening kickoff, which was Stoke versus Man United, two wall draw, two wall draw. Now, as a result of that, so that's just my uh, remote control dropping there. <clears throat> As a result of that, um, Man United is still on on the top, but now it's only on goal difference with Man City. So um, we're, let's just bring up the table very, 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 very quickly. So yeah, Manchester um, Man United have two goal have a two goal difference on United. Sorry, on Man United have two goal difference on City. So it's interesting. It's going to make the next few weeks very, very interesting to see what happens. Uh, moving to the championship, Villa were at home to Brentford. It was a boring nil-nil. Um, this this have an it's out of interest. Let's have a look to see if what Snodgrass did that game. Snodgrass, 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 Snodgrass. <laughs> Came on as a substitute on the 60th minute. Says everything, doesn't it, eh? Really, really does. Not that I'm bitter. Not. Right. Anyway, so back to the rest of them. Uh, come on. Where are you? 
So, yeah. So, Bolton were at home to Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough beat them 3-0. Fulham were at home to Cardiff. It's a one all draw. Leeds were at home to Burton Albion. And, as you would imagine, Leeds absolutely smashed them 5-0. Norwich were at home to Birmingham. A 1-0 win for Norwich. Let's just have a look at Birmingham's lineup for that game because, as everybody knows, in the transfer window they made some decent signings. So let's have a look. Where are we? Hmm. Hmm. Quite a few bookings. From Birmingham. Oh well. Um, okay, so let's go. <laughs> Sorry, as I say, I generally haven't seen any of this. I, was, I wasn't too bothered about the weekend results, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> right, so where are we? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, back to it. Preston North End at home to Barnsley, a one all draw there. QPR at home to Ipswich. Keep your beat them 2 1. Uh, Reading at home to Bristol City, and they were beaten by Bristol City 1 0. Not sure what's going on in Reading at the moment. Uh, Sunderland went home to Sheffield United, and surprise, surprise, Sheffield United beat Sunderland 2 1. Wolves were at home to Millwall, and they smashed them 1 0. Good on you, boys. And Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday were at home to Notts Forest, and they beat them 3 1. Now, moving to Sunday's games, because I'm not really bothered about what happened to that weekend. Uh, the early, excuse me, the early kickoff of Burnley Crystal Palace. Burnley um, beat Crystal Palace one 0 and Swansea City. The afternoon later kickoff was at home to Newcastle, and Newcastle beat them one 0 um, Now, the Crystal Palace thing I th is a very, very strange one. Um, Reason being is because they basically, um, after Allardyce walked away in at the end of last season, it appears from um, it appears from what they were trying to do was do exactly what we did with um, Bilic after Allardyce left. In in terms of bringing in. Flair players with a manager who can who can manage flair players and play decent attractive football. Now, um, as everybody knows, and anyone who doesn't for that matter, um, shame on you. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, uh, De Boer or De Boer, however you pronounce him, uh, was sacked. He was sacked yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Where are we? Choosing? Yes, yeah, sacked yesterday. Um, after five games in charge, four in the league, one in the cup, um, every single one of them a loss. I think one. I don't know that. No, they 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 progressed through the cup round, if I remember right. But four league defeats. Um, basically, it's a bit of a strange one because a lot of us as football supporters um, don't really understand the thinking behind it. I agree with the sacking because it wasn't working. I do not agree with the fact that it should be done this early, um, especially on the grounds of they tried to bring in, they tried to completely rewrite the, the Palace book. Let's put it, let's be honest. Now, as you know, we all we all know what it was like with Pardew in charge. We all know what it was like with Pulis before him. Um, Who else it was before then? Um, you know, Palace have always been Palace are. You know, as much as they are a London rival team, as much as you can do being on the verge of Surrey, <laughs> um, they um, they wanted to change the entire lot of football. Now, I don't, I don't, don't blame them. You know, they wanted to make it more attractive, make attractive football, get sell the brand out to further countries, etc., etc., etc. What every club is doing now. Um, I don't agree with, um, as I don't agree with him being sacked so early. 
but he basically wasn't given enough time. Um, his record over his last two previous clubs was a, a was it a combination of 65 days, I think. You know, he's he's not he's not, he's not the best. Um, he's not got the best record of employment. Um, you know, he didn't last very long at Inter, where they where they got him from. Um, he just wasn't the right man for the job. Now, I, as I say, I don't I don't agree with it. I don't think it was the right thing to do. Um, the, I, to me, I was talking to one of the guys at football last night about it, just very, very briefly. Um, I think after the first few days, they realised they didn't have the right manager. They didn't get the guy. He basically, I reckon, personally, I reckon he bullshitted his way through the interview. Um, and he was found out very, very quickly. Kind of, um, I was going to say a bit a bit like Brian Clough, but not really. No, because with, with Brian Clough and Leeds, because that, a lot of that comparison has been going on recently, uh, that was more of a case that they just didn't, the players just didn't want him. Um, it could be, it could be a case with, with Palace. We'll find out in the coming weeks, and months, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, it's it's a strange one. It's a really, really strange one. And the weird thing is, as well, for that matter, is that, was it? I think it was about an hour ago or a couple of hours ago, um, that Roy Hod Roy Hodgson is now in charge of Palace. I personally think uh, this is the bad mistake. He's not the manager um, that was able to get full amount of trouble when they were in re in the relegation fight. Was it ten years ago? Um, and he's not the same manager that got Fulham through to the Europa final um, from from, quali from qualifying as the best behaved out of the league. The same way we got through to the Europa fight, the Europa games uh, two two three seasons ago. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with it. Um, I don't agree with it on both on two grounds really. Um, I've got nothing against Roy Hodgson. At, in, at his at his time, he was a good manager. Um, not so much now. He can't. He's he's tactically tactically inept. Um, in that sense, because yes, it was a big step up for him to go to England, uh, but he could do it at Liverpool. Um, not saying that pa Liverpool and Palace are the same size club in any shape or form, but the, the the owners will have similar interests. The Palace owners will want to have Palace pushing into the top ten, if not in the top ten, pushing for a top six, top seven, um, like fifteen teams out of the out of the league are. To be fair, um, so it's 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 going to be a tricky one. Um, as I say, it's a weird one at the same point, but anyway. That's the review. Now, to come round to the uh, predictions. So, where are, so where are we? So we've obviously because obviously there's the Champions League going on at the moment and for the week. Now, to, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> as it's Tuesday night, I didn't realise there was there was um, championship championship games. That I thought that was tomorrow night, but there is tomorrow night. But there's stuff going on at the moment. Um, as it stands at the moment, we're 37 minutes, 37, 38 minutes into each game. Uh, Villa are drawing 0-0 at home to Middlesbrough. Leeds are winning 1-0 over Birmingham City. Norwich and Burton Albion is a draw. Good luck, Norwich fans. Um, Preston at home to Cardiff, and, they're, and, they're, and Preston are currently winning 1-0. QPR are losing to Millwall. Really, QPR? Really? Um... Sheffield Wednesday are losing to Brentford. Sunderland are drawing to Notts Forest. Wolves are winning over Bristol City. And Bolton are at home to Sheffield United 0 0. So when I say Sunderland, not, 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 Sunderland, not, nil, draw, it's a 0 0 as well. So it's interesting. Hmm. Uh, so, so as it stands at the moment, those are the games. Uh, for tomorrow, once my once my tablet, there you go. So I so I'm talking about say iPad. I don't have an iPad. I'm trying to think who does. Um, championship uh, game tomorrow night. Fulham at home to Hull City. I've got a funny feeling Fulham are gonna are gonna do those, do that game. Uh, a lot of Europa qualifiers to uh, Thursday, Friday the fifteenth. Boom. Um, TV kickoff. Um, Bournemouth Friday night eight o'clock. 
Bournemouth at home to Brighton and Hove. I think Brighton um, are going to struggle with that one. Um, it could be a draw, um, but I think it's going to be a 2-1 to Bournemouth. Saturday, squeaky bum time. I never get my, I never get these right, but fuck it. Uh, Palace at home to Southampton in the early kickoff. Um, I reckon it could be a draw because it's not going to have Watson's not going to have a lot of time to do much. Um, Huddlesfield and Leicester. Uh, I don't know Huddersfield they played really well last night as you'll see in the video I said, talked about actually I don't think I talked about them um, they did play really well um, you can see why they've got 7 points from 4 games so um, yeah I, I, I said at the beginning of the season I wish them well I, wish that, I don't think they'll stay up but I wish them well uh so yeah, I think I think that could, but I think Leicester will do him. I think on that one, uh, Liverpool at home to Burnley. It's a Liverpool win, a tricky one, but it will be just like a three-two or something. Uh, Newcastle at home to Stoke, tricky game that. Um, Newcastle were very lucky against Swansea. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's stupid. I've, uh, <sighs> I've got a funny feeling Stoke might just might just hedge that. It might be a draw or a Stoke win. Um, Watford, Man City. It's Man City run all over it. There's a win. 2-1, 3-1, 4-1, 5-1. -1. Depends how well Watford turn up, I suppose. Uh, West, we've got, we're playing West Brom away. Um, I will be doing the, as it's an away game, I will be doing a um, team lineup video and a post-match reaction. <clears throat> a little bit quicker than the game this, as it was last night. There, thanks, mate. No point. No, no need to review. No, no need to rev your car up this late in the night. Um, uh, West Brom, West Ham. I, I, I'd, I'd take a point out of that. To be honest with you, uh, if we play, if we play the way we played last night, we do. We take that intensity up there. I think we'll get. We'll, the least we can expect is a point. Um, but that's all I'm going to look forward to. Um, <clears throat> Spurs Swansea the evening kickoff on Saturday. Uh, let's go. Oh, I think it's two one the Spurs. Championship Birmingham P Preston. I think Birmingham Brentford Reading. I don't know actually. Uh, do that not recently. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say Reading on that one. Uh, Bristol City Derby. Draw possibly Derby went edging it late. Burton um, at home to Fulham uh, could be a draw. Sorry, Billy Boy, but I've got a funny feeling. Steve, that's, that's I think that's gonna be a draw. Uh, Cardiff from Sheffield Wednesday. Cardiff may lose it. Um, Hull Sunderland one all or nil nil. Uh, Ipswich Bolton. I don't know. I really, really don't know on that one. Uh, Borough Queens Park Rangers could be a good game. I think Borough might just hedge it. Uh, Millwall Leeds Leeds should do that. They really should do it. Uh, Notts Forest against Wolves. I reckon Notts Forest. Uh, Sheffield against Norwich. Sorry, Sheffield United against Norwich. Don't know. I, can't, I, won't, I won't say anything. Um, and Barnsley Villa. Uh, possibly Villa. <laughs> Wolf's not, Wolf's not grass get any decent action I doubt it um, you made your right choice there mate didn't you uh, Sunday uh, Chelsea Arsenal the half one kick off it's going to be a good game really really entertaining game I'm definitely going to be watching that one um, but winner I'd say 2-1 Chelsea uh, Man United Everton 3-1 United uh, the FA1 United so that's the weekend games. There's nothing in the championship, and uh, I don't think. Look. So I see this video's gone a little bit longer than I planned to, but I talked a bit more about QPR than I originally intended. Uh, Palace than I originally intended. Um, yep. Tuesday night League Cup. So yeah, I might be doing a video for that. Depends. 
it depends what the result. Uh, well, obviously doing a result, a video will not no matter the result, but it depends on the uh, the game. Uh, how I like get back? Um, as I said, I'm only doing the league games, so we'll scroll over those. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So that's it. Yeah. So I'll do my review for the next week's videos next week. Funny enough. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, I'm glad we've been able to sit down and have a have a um, be able to talk to you about it. Uh, it's gone long longer than I wanted to. Um, so Christ knows how long this is going to take to upload. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much, guys, and I will see you again soon.